Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a nice new feature of Merging Maps, which is called Position Tracking. With this feature, users can record their movement history while surveying. The feature works on both Android and iOS devices, even when the app is in the background. We'll start from scratch with installing the Merging Maps plugin. Go to the Plugins Manager and search for Merge It. Click Install. Now you'll find Merging Maps in the browser panel. Click right to configure. Use your credentials to log in. Test your connection and when it says OK, you can save the credentials and click OK. Now you have access to your projects and can create new ones. Click the plus sign to add a new basic QGIS project. You can choose your workspace and give the project a name. Here I call it Forest Walk and I create it in the default location. You can also choose to make the project public so others can download your project too. It fetches the data from the merging cloud service and we are ready to start with our basic project. In the layers panel, you can see that our basic project consists of a point layer called survey, which is for storing our point observations and the backdrop layer called Open Map Tiles OSM, which is a vector tile layer from OpenStreetMap. The first thing that we need to do is to zoom into our survey study area, and then we go to the project properties to do some settings. Go to the View Settings tab, and there you can set the project full extent, which should be the Map Canvas extent. In this way, we limit the app to uh, the extent of our map canvas. Let's go to the Merge in Map Settings tab. There I'm going to focus on the position tracking and under position tracking you can enable the position tracking and you can choose between uh, best for the best available accuracy but that will cause a high battery use because it collects more than one update per minute. If you set it to normal you optimize it for battery life and you have one update per minute or 100 meter traveled and with low you can have a higher battery life. You could enable snapping but in my case I will uh, probably go sometimes off track so I keep the default settings for snapping which means no snapping. Now you can see that in the layers panel the tracking layer is added which is a line string layer. If I open the attribute table I can see attributes like start and end time and the user that collects the data as well as the distance. So now we are ready to synchronize this project with the cloud. If I click the synchronize button, it will prompt me that I have to save the changes to the project. So let's do that first. And then you'll get the pop-up for the synchronization and click the sync button. Now your project has been successfully synchronized with the merging cloud. And we're ready to go into the field. Now go to merge in maps on your mobile device. I assume that you've already logged in. There, go to the Projects tab and find the project, tap the Download button, and then go to the Home screen. There you can tap on the name of the project, and then it will open. So uh, I'm now in the field. You've seen that we've installed uh, Merging Maps on the phone. And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, make a nice tour around this link. This is uh, the Kavitz Plus, Kavitz Plus in Rotterdam. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to mark my position. I'm going to take some pictures too. So let's go. To start position tracking, tap more, position tracking, and then tap start tracking. Now you can see at the top of the screen that position tracking is running. There's one more useful setting. So go to more and settings and then switch to follow GPS with map. I see beautiful rainbow, so let's add a record. Tap record, add, tap the calendar to add the date and take the picture. And then save the observation. So let's get going and uh, see how our position tracking is working. And every time we encounter something interesting, I'll add a picture. So here we have one of the windmills at the lake. And continue. This view on the two windmills, Stair and Lely. 
Then there's another uh, nice monument here of the Holland Pop Festival of 1970, which was a, a Woodstock of the Netherlands. So now I'm going to test what's going to happen if I multitask on my mobile phone. During my walk I want to make some video clips and um, I'm just going to see if uh, Murder Maps is still continuing in the background with uh, logging my route. After recording a short clip, I go back to the Merging Maps app. And there I see that I have lost a uh, fix of the GPS while I was uh, filming. And uh, therefore I need to stop tracking and start it again. And uh, I've encountered this uh, with several tests. So on my Android device, uh, probably the background logging of the tracks doesn't uh, work well. Let's continue our route make some nice shots on the route. I'm at the end of the route, at the little sluice, and now I'm going to synchronize this project so I can use it uh, back in the office in QGIS. Back in the office, in the Merging Maps toolbar, click the arrow button to synchronize, and here you see which files will be synchronized, which includes a lot of pictures. When the project is downloaded and synchronized, you can uh, see this pop up, and then the layers will appear. Let's first have a look at the, the survey layer. These are the red points where I took pictures. So I click right and open the attribute table. And I switch it to form view. I will see their uh, the pictures and the date and time. Let's now also have a look at the tracking layer. Click right, open attribute table. You could toggle to uh, the attribute view to see the attributes, but it also works nicely in the form view. And there we see the tracking start time, end time, total distance, and uh, tracked by which user. And uh, every time I uh, did a segment start stop, uh, it creates a separate feature. As you can see, there's an outlier on our uh, line for the position logging. And uh, this can be caused because uh, the GPS reading was wrong. I lost a fix maybe by multitasking on my phone. So I'm going to correct it. Select the line segment to see where it is. And then uh, I can use the vertex tool and click on the vertex. I could uh, move it in the correct position or I could just delete it by uh, using the delete button. And I can toggle editing to save the edits. When you later synchronize back with the merging cloud, then uh, also this will be updated when you synchronize it back on your phone. We could do a lot more styling, but now it looks nicer if I have my server layer above the tracking but I'm going to style the points with uh, the pictures that were taken at the point. So I go to the layer styling panel, I select simple marker and I change it to raster image marker. And instead of uh, choosing a file here, um, I want to, uh, of course, link it to the pictures that were taken. And I can do that by uh, data defined override. And uh, there I can make an expression and I go to variables. And there I need the project home variable which is the home folder of our project. And you see there the current value, and that's correct. And then I need to uh, 
formulate the path by adding some uh, strings and uh, I need to have a backslash but the backslash is an escape character so I use two and uh, then I also add there the field with the file name of the photo so here in the preview you can then see uh, that that is now correctly formulated and then the pictures are loaded they're a bit small so I make them larger but it works better if I use here um, map units because then the pictures will scale with the map instead of having a constant size and then I can have a look and visit back the places I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more updates. Looking forward to see you again.